All right, what's going on, everybody? Brian back with another live stream. So today we're going to be taking some time playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Sorry for the late start. I planned on starting a little earlier, but uh, I got sidetracked with Undead Lab stream. And then, uh, like I said, I took... I am a little on the sick side, so I, I ended up taking a little nap trying to let my body recover. But here we are, guys. Um... See people in the chat asking what we're doing today. So we're, uh, last episode, we spent a lot of time trying to hunt down resources for some uh, some of the satchels. And it actually took quite a long time uh, to get the little bit we did. We didn't even get everything. Uh, so today will kind of just be a mix of everything. We'll be doing a little hunting, a little fishing, uh, trying to still grind out some of those resources as we come across it. Like if I end up in an area that has bad badgers or cougars and stuff like that in it, um, we'll hunt them down. And uh, if we end up in an area where, with some of the legendary fish, I do want to look at trying to get some of the legendary fish under my belt. So there is that. But uh, last episode, we barely did any story. I think we did one mission, and that was because we had to with Sadie. Um, we also found this, uh, random railroad being built in the middle of the nowhere, and we were able to link up with the foreman and, uh, do a mission there. It was like this hidden mission you never would have found, uh, unless you literally walk up and talk to the people. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're at our new camp. I always forget. It's beautiful down here. Somebody's sitting down by the water. Was that Hosea? Yeah, okay, Hosea here, he's not happy with the direction that the gang has been going. How are you today, Arthur? So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Is there anywhere you ain't been, Jose? All right, well, I should be getting on. See you later. I should be getting on. All right, so we're going to go get dressed. Uh, we actually have to buy some clothes. I haven't bought any new clothes yet since we started. Um, I don't even know. Does this town that we're near? Because we are really, really close to a town. They do got a, a store, and we got some post. They got a gun shop. You know what? Let's, let's take a minute. Let's head up to Rhodes. See if we can maybe uh, add some new outfits to our, our repertoire. Hello. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. All right then, Arthur. How are you? Miss All Grimshaw. Well. Yeah. Good morning, good. Arthur. You got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. Hardy are too hard there with the super chat. Red Dead Man, hello. Yo. Hey, I'm doing good. I appreciate you being here. Seriously, thank you so much. All right, let's see here. Uh, this game is definitely more than worth its money. Um, that's for damn sure. All right, so we're going to go ahead and swap over. Let me see. Does my new uh, hat go with this outfit? Wait, why don't I have the hat? Oh, here we go. Crafted hat's it. Yeah, it does go pretty decent with this outfit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it definitely goes a lot better with this color scheme. Uh, Ammo-wise, let's go ahead and grab some bullets from the, the ammo cart. Yeah, we will be playing some more Grounded soon. Um, I actually... Uh, I almost did an episode uh, yesterday, but... Uh, I knew we were getting close to beating Assassin's Creed, so I wanted to get into that. And then I planned on doing a lot more streaming today than I actually did, but I had that awkward stream time earlier because of Undead Labs, and I wanted to make sure I was there for that. So, um, But, yeah, I definitely do plan on playing some more Grounded and Subnautica, both of those games. 
Um, I was waiting to actually. Uh, my my idea was to beat um, Kingdom Come Deliverance and then open up that slot and then uh, jump in and play both of those games. Because Grounded and Subnautica are two games that uh, have been brought up quite a bit. So I was thinking about as soon as we beat Kingdom Come Deliverance, we would uh, we would do some more of that. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, I thought, was the best open world, too. But uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, this open world, it... it blows away Grand Theft Auto 5. Like, leaps and bounds. Yeah. Um, am I ever going to finish the Souls games? So the thing with the Souls games is, especially the older ones, now one of the ones I definitely wanted to try and get back into was Dark Souls 3 and... Um, Chain gang. I'm done listening to your bull crap all day, every day. I'm gonna knock you upside your head. Back to work before I bust the pair. But was uh Red Dead or not Red Dead? Um, I, w I wanted to play a Dark Souls three and um Sekiro. Those are two games I wanted to try. But the as for the other ones. All of that was kind of preparation for Elden Ring. Um, I, uh, advice: Do I get a PS5 or stay with a PS4? Um, Arthur, it all depends, man, on um, on what you're trying to play with it. I, I would say right now, PS5 still doesn't have a whole lot to offer that you can't get from. A this ain't how it looks. I can't believe that worked. Yeah. You even know what you're doing? I know how to take care of myself, partner. So, what's your plan anyway? Plan? I plan not to get caught. Now shut up. Hurry up. It, it ain't it, my problem. Witness coming, yeah. I might get caught up in that bullshit. And that had nothing to do with me. But, um, I think the investment for PS5 in the end, they're, they're definitely awesome. I, I have one. But, um,. There's not a whole lot that they offer at the moment that you can't get from a PS4 unless you really care about your graphics and things like that. You know, they are pretty powerful. A lot of the remade games are running really nice on them. But uh, it's just really hard to get yourself one right now, and I would say it's not worth the stress at the moment. All right, here we go. Roads. We actually have a bounty for $15 in Roads, so we're going to stop by the post. Uh, we'll pay that off right now. Yeah, I've heard of a game of Sleeping Dogs. You guys have told me about it. I've never played it myself. But, um, I've heard about it because of you all. Zach, how you doing, brother? Definitely need to clean our horse. The mirrors, this white horse get dirty really, really quick. I feel like I'm always cleaning this thing. Well, uh, let's go pay off this bounty really quick. Go on, back to what I pay you for. Jen, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Welcome back. All right, so let me see. Pay bounties. Got some bills to pay, huh? My favorite character up. Oh man. Yep, that's the word in town. I mean, I really like Arthur, but like to give like not such a cliche like answer and simple as Arthur, because I really, really do like Arthur as a character. He's just so rough around edges but then he's got this like soft side to him and then he's got like this comedian like he's just he's all around a great character 
But if I were to like not pick a cliche answer. Um Maybe Charles. Charles is a really cool character too. I like I like his per personality. I played Saints Row back when it first came out, like the original OG Saints Row. Um I thought Saints Row 1 was amazing. Um Saints Row 2 was pretty damn good too from what I remember. What a horse. Is that another veteran? Seen bad things. Saw my brother die. There, girl. Then I saw my friends die. I, I saw my leg. Sadie too, yeah. Sadie, Sadie Adler. Dog after it got blown off. So don't you blame me nothing but your goddamn war. Hey, Mister. Well, we give me good some morning, money. sir. Um, but we haven't seen enough of her yet Whoa. for me to draw that conclusion. So far, she's a savage. I love Sadie's character. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. Yeah, it was you I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. Uh, so. Yeah, sure. Are they talking about that gang? I've never played Flight Simulator. Alright, so First I think... First time here, I think. Don't miss the tobacco. Just behind the door there. I think we can buy clothing here. Let me see. Where is the... You gotta find the clothing room, though. Yep, here we go. Wardrobe. All right, let's see what they got for sale. So. Wait. I thought you could buy. Oh, these aren't the clothes you can buy. Oh, this is just where I can change my own clothes. Okay, so I'm going to have to still go to the catalog then and purchase Plum some Plum still muffin clothes. Down the way there. Thanks for the Seems great there content. Aren't good folks KCD without enemies and RDR2 these days. helped get me through two-week quarantine. There's a trick to get a great horse for free, early, in a mission in the near future if you're in. If you're interested. Bum Bum, thank you so much. You know I like my horses, ma'am. Okay. Better not be stolen, alright? Mm-hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell some of the stuff. We got a ton of stuff on us. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll sell all these. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so I'm keeping my horse reviver, my stimulant. Um, keep the coffee for our cores. Keep the brandy for our cores. Yep. Hair pomade. Sure, hand it over. All right, so we got to keep some of the food for our horse. Yep, I'll buy that. Horse medicine. Got some rum here. Conscript. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. Sean Nash with the 10 months, brother. Thank you so much. Just want to say hello. Day off on a Thursday, so I'll be watching episode seven, six, and eight. Hey, I hope you enjoy catching up, John. Uh, been having a lot of fun with this, man. All right, so there we go. We sold a bunch of our extra shit because we've been having issues with uh, inventory. We can't loot anything because our inventory has been full. Clothing. All right, so they got the Heartland. That's not bad. I don't really want it. A lot of folks like that. Wait, it said all. Oh, we could preview all the outfits. Whoa, that. Look at that. That's pretty sharp.
I don't know. It's, I feel like it's too. I feel like it's too fancy though for Arthur. I've been told there. Well, let's just say I didn't think Rose was that kind of town. Swanee donated five dollars. My aunt was told by her doctor to walk five miles a day for a week and to call him and let him know how she felt at the end of the week. My aunt called her doctor and said, "I feel great, but now I'm 35 miles." <laughs> Swanee, what's going on, brother? How you doing today? I mean, you can't go wrong here. Gambler did place. look sweet. Swanee, brother, how you doing though, man? We got a lot of hats, a lot of hats for sale. Oh, we could buy a duster coat. That's only eleven bucks. Let's. Oh, we can get different colors of it too. Scout coat's not bad. That actually looks pretty nice too. That's popular. I I do like that. That's pretty clean. I'm trying to find a good color here. This that's that's a good color. It's a pretty decent color. Mm. Rambler jacket. Good. Shotgun coat. No need to bluff. You want one of those little dolls, don't you? These are just some shirts. Well, that's that's really clean. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's What's really, really, really clean. Seen what you're after? Yo, this is a pretty tight. This is a pretty sweet vest. I might grab this white one. If we ever do want to dress Arthur up nice, nice. Didn't think I'd see that today. Klaus, how you doing, brother? Yeah, yeah, I'm still stuffed up, man. Still stuff up, dude. Let's see here. So we got the everyday pants. Always running out of that. Got a black okay. pair of those. Just trying to come up with some more clothes for us to wear, guys. We we we're we're really really limited on our uh, our clothing. And a lot of stuff that uh, Arthur has is pretty run down. Hey, Uno Reverse, thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. All right, jeans here. Get some blue jeans. Can't go wrong with some blue okay. jeans. There we go. So we should be able to put together some outfits. And that should be good. All right, now let's go straighten our our clothing out. See, now we're wearing all a bunch of like Mitch match crap. Okay, so we're gonna go. We'll have summer gunslinger. We'll have this one on our horse. The winter gunslinger on our horse. Summer gunslinger on our horse. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a custom outfit. Start with a shirt. We're going to make a nice, fancy, fancy outfit. Go with, with this nice white French dress shirt. Wear the white vest over it. Then we'll go with Those are two mess. Everyday pants. Let's see with the black. 
The hell? Why are those changing like that? Alright, maybe it's the lighting or something. Um, suspenders. Nah. We got our vest on. We don't need suspenders. Trying to, yeah, we got, let's see if we got some new boots. Oh, those are clean. Those are clean. We should probably buy some new boots. Yeah, it has to be the lighting because even those, wait, what's happening here? Why, why are our boots changed back? We got some spurs here on our boots. Why are they changing back? Did I not actually click them? Uh, I must not have selected them. Boom. Select. Okay. So weird. That's happening. Okay, so we got boots, spurs, masks. Um, yeah, the oh, I don't need that. You can just get a full uh face mask. Neckwear. That. Gloves. A little bulky. A little on the bulky side. Gun belt. It's the only one I have. I thought I had different types of gun belts, but I guess not. Pulsers match the belt. Looks really nice. Alright. I think it's a pretty clean up outfit. It's a pretty damn clean outfit. Can't help noticing that you're still here. Relax, dude. Hello, welcome Ooh, back. I love you too, brother. How you doing? So what do you guys think? Line up, Rose. Get your paper. Pretty clean outfit. If I do say so myself. Arthur's looking nice. Uh, we'll swing by the gun shop real quick. Oh, I don't want no trouble. No, 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 no. Please don't go. Please don't go. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been trapped down here. What the fuck? Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 no. wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. What? You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. I already have a Lancaster repeater. What the hell? Hey, Rax, thank you so much for the super well, chat. Shoe Labs won't take my card, but I've been loving this Red Dead stream. You should try to go for 100%. But I, keep the guns locked. I, I definitely would like... Take a look at the catalog and I'll pull out anything you'd like to see. Alright, so this dude is... uh. Got something going on downstairs. 
They browse the catalog. They See. Know what catches your eye. All right, let's see. Ooh, we can get the double action revolver now. That's a new one. Sold a few of those to some very discerning customers. Heaven's repeater. Don't know what that is. You know, yeah, let's grab that double action revolver. And then uh, we'll save this kid down in the basement. You spend much time in the parlor house? Every time I'm there, I thank God I'm armed. Okay, so we got this I have one myself. little double action revolver. Uh, components, let's see, barrels. I can put some sights on that if you're interested. Get the long barrel on it. Have it eh? Get some improved rifling on that. Wow, this firing rate on this pistol is insane. Um, throw some sights on there. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. And then we'll go ahead and get ourselves... Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Wow, look at that grip, dude. That's sick. All right. That grip is sick. All right, let's see. So we got the blackened steel all over it, which looks nice. I actually kind of like this blued steel, though. It looks sweet, too. Let me see what the whole thing looks like if we go with the blued steel. Mm. Maybe the black. We'll keep it the black. Now put the golden inlay on it. It's so it'll look clean. Like what you see? I'm a bit of a hunting enthusiast, as you may have surmised. So we'll go full engravings. Change that to gold. Silver. See, the thing is, it doesn't really go with that color. Things about that salesman, Virgil Fish, something. And the Yankee sympathizing is the least of it. Like the, the handle. The handle doesn't go with the color. I feel like that handle will go better with a silver gun. Always happy to help. I don't even know if I should go with the actual color silver, but even like I carry only quality goods here. You know, like a normal colored gun, because I, I feel like that that handle just doesn't go with the black. As crazy as that sounds, but we might we could probably trick this out. We'll go iron. Let me see. How does iron look? Not feeling the iron either. Why? What is up with this gun? Why is the coloring just not vibing? See that that actually looks nice. The nickel. I, I could I could get on board with the nickel. Maybe we'll do See the Mr. nickel. Across the way there. Leave the black the friendliest trigger and sights and stuff. Nice enough when you get to know them. Probably do the trigger gold. Actually, nah, that would look weird. Look weird. So let me see. We'll leave that like that, right? So I think that looks relatively sharp. Hoodlum, hey, thank you so much for the dono. I really do appreciate it. You need anything special, you let me know. All right, and then we'll get the uh we'll get the engravings. 
Hold them with the 185. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And then we'll try to throw some engravings on there. And then we'll color the engravings black. It's not bad. It's not my absolute favorite. But I think it looks relatively sharp. It looks pretty sharp. We'll go with that for now. Now this should be fun. So we got ourselves the double action revolver. Let me uh, go. Right I just want to go switch my guns at the horse, and we'll go save the kid real quick. Yeah. I got the pistol still. Um, I love this pistol, guys. It is so cool. But I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm having a hard time having it equipped because of the way it sits in the holster. Like I know that's so trivial, but it troll. It just trolls the shit out of me. I can't stand the way that pistol sits in the holster. Where the hell's my horse at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Plus, I don't have any ammo for it anyways. So we'll go... So Flacco's revolver is... We can go with Granger's... Yeah, I'll go Skullfield Revolver, and then we'll go with our double action. You got bit by a goddamn dog this morning. Not enough food for anyone. There we go. Show me something I haven't seen before. If you don't mind, oh. partner, I kind of like to be alone. I can't have anyone with a mask in this shop. Why can't I bring my guns out? Whoa, now. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now. All right, all right. That dude does have a gun on him, so we got to be I careful. Got nothing to hide. Got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you could always come back after he wakes up. You, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. What the fuck is going on here, dude? Please. What are you waiting for? Please. Oop, wrong gun. That's not my. Oh, oh thank you. That's sick. I ain't sticking around for this. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that his actual son? Liar. Weapons case down here. Oh yeah, we already got one of these. Lancaster repeater. We didn't kill him, though. You know, I should have.
sure the law puts this to it. Keep calm, let me take care of it. Hit the trail, friend. The law's taking over now. That didn't, I don't know how we got caught. Um, somebody walked in the store right as I was helping myself to the ammo. Damn, a $33 bounty, bro. So what does it mean I, I was losing, losing honor? I didn't do anything. I was... What do you mean, honor? There's nothing honor. <laughs> I'm, I'm shooting people in the face. All right, we'll head back up to camp. Talk to Dutch in the morning. What do you mean, stealing? We're robbing trains and shit. How bad is it to rob a damn gun store? Taking ammo lowered my honor. I'm just confused because I thought we're like outlaws. I mean, that kid, that, what he was doing with that kid, he deserved it. I actually think, don't we have to restock our base ammo if we want more? I think we actually have to restock it at the ledger, if I'm not mistaken. My honor bar? I don't know how to do that. I'm like 70% to max. That's pretty good, right? Miss Grimshaw? These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Ain't nobody care. All right, so let me see. Ledger, I think we can re-up our ammo here. Look at Arthur, 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 Arthur. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, right here. So we can restock meds, restock provisions. Uh, restock ammo. I I would like to get this lodging for myself, but um, it's it's a little on the expensive side. It's pretty much all of our money. We'll wait till we get a little bit more later on. But it's about to be nighttime. Catch some sleep. We'll head out in the morning. Uh, talk to Dutch. See what he has for has for us.
Was this Arthur's first uh, bank robbery? Because that sounds like my fine patriotic friends and I are going to relieve. That, that sounds like something Dutch would say. $5,000 in gold? Holy shit. Yeah. I love fishing. I love fishing. We're actually going to be doing some fishing today. Yeah, we we upgraded Dutch's tent already. Um we'll, we'll get around to Arthur's once we get a little bit more cash. Uh, I just wasted more money by getting that damn bounty. All right, Dutch. What's up, boss? Would not mind getting myself a damn boat, though. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> uh, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. He's speaking my language. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting. You. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Are we really about to go fishing? This is my kind of main mission. Oh, that rhyme, bars. Passing you. Okay, go. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. Uh, yeah, yeah. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. 
but start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Looks like law up ahead. Playing well, cool. he asked me after the fact, guys, so I, I'll make sure going forward, I uh, I don't get in any trouble. But I didn't I didn't use any ah. gun, no violent crimes. And roads, I just a little bit of a uh, arm, a little bit of robbery. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> Who's in there? Is that that? How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come Fuck, on, dude. hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. So much for a fishing oh, trip, man. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. So long, deputies. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if he can get alongside the train. Yep. Yeah. Keep us close to yeah. the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, God damn you. Damn fool. Running out of train, brother. Nice. Try at least. It's not kill him. Uh, uh. Bitch. Sadly, son. Need some gin? Come on. Just to do him, and we'll take him in, all right? I'm right out here if you need me. Do it. Got him. Hello? 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 Hello?
Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Open the fucking door a little more, dude. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. My horse had to take a shit. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders <laughs> onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. <laughs> All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Here it oh, comes. We'll I already know what chat's Anders gonna fucking there say, is the dude. The operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. There it is. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bold. Some misclick. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. I don't know Another nothing about big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place. Uh, nice, we got some family quarrels going on here. We're gonna bear left here. So we're gonna have to keep our nose clean in roads specifically. Blake, I love you too. How you doing? Whoa. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Nice. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. That's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Fox. Thank you so much for the Swami super. Donated five dollars. Come on, every time you get around animals, I worry for their safety, and then. you just proved hey, why. It was a misclick, dude. Fox, it was a misclick. All right, I'm used to pushing the F. All right, to get on my horse, and I pushed, e, but it's E, and I do the same thing when I'm playing uh, KCD. I, I I I always hit the button. It's I get the buttons reversed. But guys, thank Mr. you so Gray. much. I do appreciate it. We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. Uh, Some heavyweight families I going on in this area. Caravan. 
the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of the rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Ice Cold, thank, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? I don't know. I want to go fishing, bro. Sure. Why not? I was about to say, I, wa I want to go fishing. Hosea. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. There's a shit on the ground, dude. Gentlemen, follow me. Let's go, girl. Update 29.1 for I, well, um, how far is this creek. It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. Uh, but 29.1, I'm not sure what it is. Um, and they got a hot fix update that's coming out that's very, very small. What now, well, Arthur? So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Greg? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't sing the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. Yeah, we're still going fishing. hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. Alone is like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. You're like Mr. a ninja. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. 
Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Chelonis. What a terrible thought. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Coming past. Go on! Nice spot. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Oh, we're hey, going on a boat? Those the boats, you mean? Yes. Good. Hell yeah, dude. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. I mean, they just left them here on the bank. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. Supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. Yo, so yeah, you get out here on the boat, you can fish in like the area you can't access from the banks. So far, we've only been able to fish off the bank. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big. Got a lake lure. Like a sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Don't give up, Arthur. You'll get the hang of it. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Got one! Shit. Got away. I think that's a fish. Really too fast. There, hooked him. That's really caught a fish? Arthur, you have to catch one at least. Relax, dude. Come on, baby. Can't let these old. It looks like you got, got a bite, him. Arthur. Got him. Nice, you hooked him. I got a bite. Ha! Got ya! Damn it, I lost him. Kill him, man. Must not be that big. It's really not fighting all that much. Hey, got him. Look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger uh, than that. Four pound largemouth bass. Told me once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of St. Denis. 50 pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 
21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. Got him. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. That's <laughs> on the hook, Arthur. Got another one. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Lost it. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Coppa went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great Nailed place. Nailed his large we mouth bass. We went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. Got it. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Just got to reel him in now, Arthur. Getting some good uh, experience here, like learning how to let go when they start splashing. We had a, we had a line break on us when we caught that uh, pickerel up north. Nah, no cap. This is all new to me at this point. Not yeah. Bad, Archie. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Uh, I'm gonna turn it into the camp. And I uh, let's go see if I can change my bait type. But I think the uh, The special won't do anything for me over the regular lake lure. Arthur's got a bite. Can you imagine on, nailing a fish? On like almost every cast, dude. No sturgeon, though. Well done. Oh, got something different there. Trout. Four pound steelhead trout. Yeah, that's a keeper. 
Would love to get me a sturgeon, though. That would be so nice. You got a bite there, Arthur. You hooked him. I tried to turn around, Jack Daniels, but it seems like it wants you to fish off this side of the boat. Take us punching horses and shooting dogs and stealing from old folks. When you put it like that, you're making me sound pretty savage. You're getting the hang of this. Holding out for a bigger one, are you? Let's see if we can get something nice. But yeah, when I try to turn, uh, it doesn't it doesn't let you fish the other direction. You only can only fish off the one side of the boat. Now I'm pretty sure if I was by myself. I'd probably Are be out of bored already, Arthur. No, dude, what are you talking about? What is that? You got something biting, Arthur. Huh? Oh, that's fucking sweet. That's like... Sweet, sweet. You could probably make three batches out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Protein, that's really good. Huh? I didn't beat that up. What are you talking about? You got a bite. No, got it. Them in, really close. Nailed them almost right at the boat. No, I wasn't beating nothing up. I um, accidentally uh, hit my horse. Yeah, I just hit the wrong button. You know me. Good job, Arthur. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. All right, let's get a cast. It looks like uh, there's some. Let's see if I can get a cast over this way. Dutch got all the good fishing over here. Is it me or are they not catching anything? Got it. Had a little bit of fight in it right there. Looks like another trout, maybe. Catching all, down, catching all these baby fish, man. Where are the monsters at, dude? Where are the monsters at? That one gets to fight another day, huh? Not even remotely the direction I was trying to cast, but okay. you guys i feel like this 
I've never played a fishing game. Like, are there any good fishing games out there? Uh, listen, I've never played it, but I feel like this is a very good fishing game. <laughs> There you go. That's a nice one. But I seem like I'm just getting the same bass so and trout over and over again. I wonder if we just need to go to a different spot. Sega bass fishing. I think what makes this such a great experience, though, is because it's it's all the good things all in one game. You know what I mean? Like if you're done, if you're over fishing, you want to go do some hunting. If you want to go do some shooting, you want to. It's just like you just do everything in this game. I've never. I haven't played online. No, not not yet. We're just playing the story right now. What is that? That's something new. Smallmouth bass. No mission dialogue. I, I think they, uh, They didn't expect me to sit here and fish for this long. Yeah, we, we've gotten a couple. I'll probably do probably like two more casts and then, I don't know. I, I wish I could take this boat and go where I want to go with it. So I haven't, uh, I haven't really used the boat before other than this mission, so. Maybe we throw Trelawney back in, too. Oh. There is a sturgeon. I used the eagle eye, guys, and I seen it. Swandy donated five dollars. Kills dog meat, watches his companions die, steals food from old cripple women and babies, punches horses, and lies to his wife about it. Leaves stranded women on the side of the road. On the side of the road in favor of a deer hide. People call you a savage because you are no, dude. It's not like nice. that. It's not like that, Swanee. When you put it in a sentence like that, it sounds so much worse. Than it actually is. Like, that that just makes it sound really bad. I wanna get the sturgeon. It's right here, guys. It does. It sounds worse than it is. I, Because when you take all those things and put it in one sentence, you know, it sounds really bad. A 
I'm not gonna catch those dirt. I seen it swimming down there though. What does the mission prevent me from catching it? Look at them stir. You see it? That thing's like a monster fish. See, I got the lake lure. I even have the I have the uh I even have the special lake lure, but it won't let me equip it right now because of the mission. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, this feels kind of easy. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> Nelly with the six months. Don't forget the savage ending to Detroit. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'll come, I'll come back here on my own. See? You don't kill everything. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Yeah, I, I did most Should of we fishing. Back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Maxie, thank you for the sub, brother. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears <laughs> got burned and so did I. I didn't steal this boat. <laughs> it was Hosea's idea. That was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three. Mariner. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? And the head is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round around around. Marshal men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground. Rock, I don't know how to sing, bro. I didn't steal the boat. Hosea told me that it was ours. We could take it. Folks bet you can't. I think we had too much fun. Indeed not. All right. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got 
You two by my side. Things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. We'll turn, well, turn these fish into Pearson. In the I'll give these fish to Pearson. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Okay. Well, let's talk more later. All right then. Well, yeah, Strauss has some work. Mr. Pearson, look what I've got. <laughs> Fish! Mr. Matthews! Mr. Matthews. You should have been a sailor. No, thank you. I like to eat fish, not swim with them. You know, one time, just off the horn, a giant whale stalked us for months. The same thing happened to me just south of Milwaukee, only I don't like to talk about it. I have nasty memories, though. You're not a kind man. <laughs> I'm not fooled. Okay, Mr. Morgan. The bastards are some... me at the bar hey, and taking the bullets out of fish. So I stood there laughing and crying. And rather than kill me, they took me and got me some food. And that of course was that. You spoken a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. Well, I should get back to it. Whatever you say. Gentlemen. Hey. Hello, Arthur. You ever miss home? Sure. All the time. Must be hard, being so far away. Sounds good. Try to turn these fish into Pearson, but he just dilly dallied off. He, he didn't want them. He did not want them. Let me see here. So I do got that bound. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, that was for the sheriff. Yeah, we got some more work with the sheriff. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Nah, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Yeah, that's far uh, away. An apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> All right, yeah, so in the morning, we'll head out. We'll try to collect that money, then. Have I fast-traveled yet? No. No, I've, I haven't fast-traveled yet. Well, I used the um, I used the uh, the train, but I haven't like fast traveled fast. What is this? Why is that like right close by? Oh, is that a robbery? 
I hear Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> John, what's yeah, up, brother? How you doing, man? Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Idiot. Now, Micah, we're rolling with. Micah's the one that's a little unhinged right there. He just All goes right. and shoots Let's do people. This. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there. Sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. Morgan. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. Oh, come on. Move. Brock donated five dollars. Time to get scared. Brock, <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. What is this mission scary? Jay Buttle, thank you so much. Or Budley, thank you. I really appreciate the sub. Uh, Rock, yeah, I turn the scream off uh, when I'm playing games like this. Um, that way it doesn't ruin the, the playback. Because uh, this game, game reaches a bigger audience, so I try to uh, keep the this, this scream dono. Um, the smaller games. Yeah, I turned it. Yeah, I turned it. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Demo, demo, with the six months, yes, brother. Thank you see? so much. That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. I know, bro. I'm right, sorry, bro. Gonna be off the road up ahead. <laughs> oh, 
Up here, Morgan. Whoa. Here and go the rest off foot. I want them to hear us coming. All right, well, yeah. let me see. I might have to swap up some guns. So I got my pistols. Um, I'll bring my Lancaster repeater and semi auto shotty. That's perfect. Only deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. About five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed the big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Watch it. They're coming up. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't you? I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. What? You're just gonna let him go? You're a cold one, Morgan. A cold one. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. <sighs> Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got... Nice. No, he was trying to let uh, the guy shot at us. He was trying to kill us. You know, and we don't need people going around like that. Like, it's not, it's not good. He could, he could have put us in a bad spot. Went and told his buddies. Then we could have got ambushed on the road. You know what I mean? Oh, what is this? Got another double action revolver. 
So does that mean I can dual wield double action revolvers? Bombing coming. I don't think I've drank moonshine yet. So you guys are saying I should have let him live then? Yeah, I got dual hey dual willing. All right, so yeah, this was the double action. Yeah, so I do have two double action revolvers. I gotta go dress this other one up, though. I like the Schofield revolver. It's one of my favorites. Like mine is pretty sweet. Actually, yo, I haven't cleaned my guns in a long time. Holy shit. Um This one's a little dirty, but as you guys can see, this is my Schofield revolver. I love this thing. Beautiful gun. This one doesn't really need to be cleaned. I just just got it. It's a little dirty, but not not nothing crazy. What is that? Do a partner. Don't move. Let's just all take a breath here, shall we? Hands up or die. Check these buildings out there. I don't know if we've ever been over here. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Easy now. Was it 1883? Founded August what 1883. What I get for a horse as fine as that? <laughs> Damn folk won't leave me the hell alone. I think we're far away from that body. We won't. We won't get dragged. Drug into the investigation if they start investigating the body. Stay out, plague. Place looks abandoned. It's a stay out plague. So there's like plague in here? Doesn't let me open it anyway. Yeah, <laughs> play cart. <laughs> Come on, girl. Slow up now. Ill with sin. Yes, yeah, so whoever owned this area must have got sick. They're on that quarantine, guys. They're on that quarantine. I uh, never found oh, a badger yet. No, I haven't, still haven't found a badger. I don't even. What location? Where are we right now? Oh. Wait, why is there a locked question mark up here? Okay, see that? Why is it locked? Yeah. Uh, uh, due to my recent crimes. <laughs> oh, shit, man. We do got a little bit of a bounty we have to pay off. Uh, so we'll head back down toward Rhodes. We'll collect this money, and I'll pay off my bounty.
You okay, mister? Please. I've been bitten by a snake. What the fuck, dude? I need medicine. Or, or, or you need to suck the venom out. Uh, uh, okay. I have an idea. Not a word to anyone. Got me? I owe you one, mister. Yo, okay. we got so much honor. I'll pay you someday. Got that right. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, uh, out here. No more. Uh, Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? You all right, girl? The thing is, if you give them the wrong thing, they, they don't like it, so I thought... Uh, then they die anyways. So with the snake bite, I just figured I had to get the venom out. Was that not the right choice? He lived! And we got a ton of freaking uh, honor from that. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. Cut across here. Yeah, yeah, we got the, the burnt sheriff's office. We found a gold bar there. She was worth like four or five hundred gold. Yeah, that guy didn't shoot at me you know what i mean i only kill guys people listen listen guys i only kill people that deserve killing you know i don't just go around killing innocents and tying them up and putting them on railroad checks and shit you know i i kill who who deserves to be killed i rob who sh deserves to be robbed and uh that's how we do it you know i don't feel like i'm extra brutal yeah The guy I drowned, he was a witness. He was a witness. I had to do it. I passed the Badger Bridge. Is that the Badger symbol right there? That little Super Copper looking thing? Oh, it's crazy. Oh. Dal? What is this? These Lemoyne Raiders. You made a mistake taking me, but it ain't too late. Let me go, and there's no bad blood. No bad That's, blood. That said no shooting. There's more than 40 years of bad blood between you and us. Maybe more. What are we going to do with him? Leave him alone for now. He's worth more when he's breathing. You're a disgrace to Lemoyne. A lot of you. I don't care what he's worth. You don't disrespect the cause like that. You young and sure get fired up and stupid, don't you? He disrespected the cause.
I could have saved them, but that said no, no shooting near the town. And we're like right near roads. Okay. Then, and girl. you guys know how easy it is for things to get out of control for me. I'll be sitting here trying to freaking save roads and next thing I'll know, I'll I'll somehow be in a shootout with twenty five cops and thirty innocent people will get murdered. So I'm just not gonna get involved. Just doing what Dutch said. Dutch said to keep our noses clean. I'm going to pay off my bounty. Look, Dutch asked us, the gang, not to use weapons or cause trouble. And I have a $33 bounty. Let's go pay that off. Now, I do got to collect Hello, this Liam. bounty in Rose, or this uh, debt. Hmm, I thought you were sweating a little. I never did anything wrong, but I got falsely accused, you know. You know how it is. Thanks, mister. How you doing? Oh, is that dude dead? Oh, you should see yourself. Don't reckon you're going to remember much of this. So that's something at least. Yep. Now we robbed a store. We robbed the store and uh, we got in a little bit of trouble. But we were saving a kid. You see what I'm saying? I went from I went from saving a kid who was trapped in a basement, and somehow I end up with the bounty. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. I just donated to that dude. Is he? I got my leg blown off. What you all do? Let's collect this money. Horse is a little hungry. We actually got to get some more food for our horse, too. Let me do that before I cause any ruckus. I need some help. Back again? Yes, sir. Have a look. All yep. for sale, except the floorboards. Now. Got to get Here some more horse look. food. How about we get back to it? Need the uh, oat cakes. Uh, dry goods. Classic oat cakes. Sold. My horse eats good. Uh, you can better food uh, be at the good. stable. Oh, I never even thought about that. Yeah, buying stuff from the stables for the horse. Thanks for your assistance. Touch Vanderlyn, keeping me on the straight and arrow, you know? Okay, so I believe it might be in this workshop here. It said it was a metal worker or somebody. You're on the back. Go. Never gonna get the hang of this. All right, no guns. When use, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. 
I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But uh, well uh, come with me to the churchyard and stay close. Hmm. All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Yeah, brother, listen. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Who's gonna have us digging up bodies? <sighs> okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. No way, dude. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. What do you mean? Don't be shy, ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past oh. prudishness. It's disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, oh, breathing woman you got here in front of you? Can't we just get married like normal folks? You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! All right, we got rid of him. Wait, they want us to get rid of that lady who... Well, she's... She's here with her... I don't know what the hell she's doing, actually. Good. Just make me seem more like a savage. This. Overgrown and all. Ma'am. Ma'am, would you mind <laughs> clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. There it is. See, we didn't even have to be a savage. We didn't even have to be a savage. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. I gotta stop people from coming in. Oh, here we go, guys. Michael, thank you so much for the sub, brother. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Hmm, well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Woo! There it is. I didn't even have to draw no guns on anybody. Oh shit. Please don't be coming up here. That's for sure. There's them that's born to it. There's everyone else. Uh-huh, that's how it is. Things was done on merit. You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh excavation work. Would you mind? 
No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. Oh, hold on. This filler. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastards. Oh, fuck, dude. Whoa. The fuck out of here. Get out. Get out. Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. Got punched in the damn face, man. I didn't shoot nobody. I didn't shoot nobody. I think Dutch meant like no like shooting the gun. You know what I mean? All right. Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, Damn, I'm out of here. Digging that, up bodies, man. Then clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> Don't make a habit of this, bro. So we did good, guys. We handled ourselves. We got the Ma we got Jomani. There was another one, but that one sounded like it was pretty far away. Over near Strawberry. Yeah, that's quite quite the trip. Now, what we could do is we could enjoy a little train ride over to Strawberry. What time is it? Um, I think by the time we get to Strawberry, it'll be a little late. They have a tavern over there. We could maybe play some cards or something, but... I like to do my bounty hunting in the middle of the night. Let's take a train, though. You need a ride somewhere? No, partner. I'll, I want to take the train. What was that noise? There's a hot one today. Mm -hmm. So it goes. I'm feeling uh, what the fuck has he got? Out of the damn way! I want a mustache like that, bro! He's got a musical mustache! No, it's his mustache. He like flicks different hairs and it makes it makes different noises. That's crazy. I would take the stagecoach, but I like I don't know, I like traveling in the train. Sophisticated, you know. I feel sophisticated when I take the train. Welcome back. Uh, uh where were we traveling to? Was it? What station is the one over near Strawberry? Well, we can't even travel to Strawberry. Closest we can go is Rig Station. Might actually have to take the stagecoach. Bye.
Yeah, I will take the sage coach. It is what it is. Dude, and his musical mustache. That's cool. Howdy, my lady. She looks super dressed up. Ma'am? How do you do? I have to say, life is pretty good. That's good to hear. Well, let's hope it continues, huh? Goodbye. Arthur, you Again, animal. Right. So where are you going? We're going to straw eight dollars and thirty cents. Jesus. Can I get a ride of strawberry, please. Well, now that's gonna take a while, so make yourself comfortable. So what? This was like the eighteenth uh, century uh, taxi cabs. I mean, that's equivalent to like, that's probably like a $70, $80 cap ride. Rise and shine, soldier. Here we are. Thanks for the ride, partner. Axe man, hey, welcome. I appreciate you being here. 19th century. Yeah, yeah, except I forgot we're right at the turn of the oh, turn of the century. My girl. Bro, how do I check the time? Max, man, I too appreciate the sub. Thank you so much. And almost 300 likes on the live stream. Thank you, everybody, for showing mega love. I really do appreciate it. Now, I don't know. Does Strawberry have a saloon? Never really, uh, never really came here. Uh, we got the hotel there, jail. They got the welcome center. Come on now, get moving, will you? I do see a lot of people hanging out here. Let's go inside this hotel and see. Oh yeah, no alcohol. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. The mayor forgot about that. Man sitting there messing around with the pistol shot his goddamn leg. Is he gonna make it to the dock? He's bleeding pretty good. Well, got docked wages again. I ain't even done nothing. Well, no sense moaning. Evening, mister. We chose up. Chose the uh the dry town to spend the night in, but it's fine. Yo, he really is going to the doctor. I was trying to see what he was going to do. Hey, move it. Evening. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we'll rent a room for the night. Have a nice evening. Good evening, mister. Usually we just camp out for the night out in the in the wilderness, Always but welcome at the welcome center, yes. I'm feeling like I'm feeling special today. I'm feeling like treating Arthur to a nice only a dollar. That's crazy cheap. Yeah, he Arthur can use a bath too. Can you arrange a bath? I need a wash. Alright. Head on over when you're ready. Where's the baths? Both upstairs. Place is pretty sweet. Damn mayor. Yeah, 
See, this is how Arthur, how he wanted to spend the night. You know what I mean? It was this. Could I offer some assistance? Or camping out, you know, sure, out in the not? middle of the woods by myself in the cold. Good. Now relax. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. See, when you get the 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 uh, the assistant to help you with the bats, you don't have to you don't have to keep hitting the buttons. It does it for you. You let me know if the water gets cold. Sorry for smell. Been a while. Oh, I'm not sure what to do with that. <laughs> He's just getting the water to to rinse. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. Oh, I'm sure. You let me know if you need a scrub anywhere else. You must get some bad men in here. In this place, I ain't surprised. Hey, Arthur's fully clean, guys. He's got bubbles in his hair, wine. Is that nice? My man's had a hard day. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. You take care. All right, grab some sleep. Then, like I said, we'll head out in the morning, try to hunt down that other debt. Wow, man, look at this room, dude. You're getting old, old and kind of sad. No wonder they all leave you, you sour-faced idiot. You ain't fooling no one. All right, let's grab some sleep. Uh, sleep to the morning. Yeah, it's not bad for a small town. That's what I'm saying. Could you imagine paying a buck to sleep somewhere like that? those uh cigarette cards it was literally a buck yeah you look fine up feeling fresh i hope yes sir all nice and clean Got good sleep and now arthur's heading out I'm gonna collect this debt morning mister All right, so we're going to head north of Strawberry, right in this area here. Swanee donated $5. For a dollar back in those days, she better be hitting my buttons all night long. A dollar, dude. <laughs> Swanee, brother. Th oh, hold on. Thank you so much, man. Easy. Like, how much was a dollar really worth back then?
I found the illegal biz in the in the store, the moonshine. Campfire over here, that might be what we're looking for. Be around thirty-three dollars? That 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 that's pretty good. That's crazy to think. Wonder if you uh thought he was gonna be safe up here camping out on this. Homes. Got a gun. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our legend. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. Boy. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Wait, well, um, I need uh, a cougar pelt. Horses. It's um. Quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me uh progress. You see, so do I have a cougar unlocked already? Here we go. Um The easiest way to take down a cougar of this size is uh, with a bow with a poison arrow or a rifle. So we're going to try to headshot one with a rifle. Probably be the best bet on preserving the pelt. I don't have any poison arrows. Um, I, I would have to craft some up. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here. Make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you... Let's see rifle 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 i do have a sp yeah i got my springfield rifle and i got my rolling block we'll use the rolling block rifle who it was a risk i didn't know nothing your name's all i knew well the german speaking fella then mr strauss he knew my work situation was precarious that this whole thing was a, a risky venture wait risky i'm mean, I at risk now are you threatening me winton holmes I ain't. No, certainly not. Save. Yeah, I haven't saved this game in a long time. We should probably actually save. Now that you mention it, I can't save right now. I'm in the middle. Of it. Won't let me do it. Sir, I'm. Um, I'm merely stating, a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. Some spook You're my horse. continuing to annoy me. Get here. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee we paint. Cause I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower.
Can't Up use here. rifle Lean in this mission. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Is this a legendary cougar or something? Is there a legendary? No, it's a legendary deer up here. Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. <laughs> Drive. <laughs> Pretty dangerous, though. Cougars are... We fought one before, but I think I killed it before it got close to me. Trish, thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. This is it. it. Her den. We should leave the horses. Oh, it's in the cave? Easy. Your horse is shit, dude. Get down. Okay, so I'll bring the Springfield... And just in case, I don't want to ruin the pelt though, so I don't want to use my shotgun. Come out. All right, show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. I gotta use the lantern. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. She got him. Crap. Damn dead deader. Bodies in here. Uh, Hellcat. Why? That'll be rare. 
see if there's anything else in here. on his body. Cougar killed quite a few people. Big ass cave, man. I'm lost as shit. There we go. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. Where the hell did my uh, pelt go? Oh, I dropped it when I swapped my gun away. We could probably sell his horse, but the problem is it's trying to shuttle it all the way back. Where the hell are we even going with this pelt? To the butcher, but there's no stable in this town. The only stable is in uh that I know of is in Valentine. And the horse is probably gonna be worth like four bucks. Let's go, girl. It's really not worth it. You said there's a stable near uh, Strawberry? Where? Look to the south here or something? Just so you guys don't call me a savage for freaking leaving the horse out here by itself. It's only gonna it's only gonna net me like four bucks. Let's move. Yep. Well at least it won't be here. I'm not gonna shoot. I've never shot the, a horse before on purpose. Check the saddlebags. I should probably do that. Every, uh, last time I tried to check saddlebags, I got kicked. Make oil, gin. Chewing tobacco, salted venison. 
I don't think I can make a panther saddle with the... I think this uh, panther thing we got, it doesn't even have a quality to it. So I think it's just it's just a mission item. What is that? Is that a badger? Nope, it's a raccoon. There's elk over here near uh, Strawberry. We went hunting all the way in the north in the snow last episode looking for elk. Careful going through these towns. You freaking run into people, and next thing you know, they're shooting at you. Can I help you? All right, bud. Oh, yeah, I never was able to turn these fish in. You sell all of these fish right while we have a chance. Okay. Let's go. Done. So the white, $38. That's not bad. Guess I should head out there hunting. Thanks for your help. Yeah, $38. Hello. And my horse had to shit. Why do I always see the horse shit? Oh, God. All right. Then I think you guys said that... The, yep, stable's right there. Come on. Try to get this horse right. a home. So, the thing is, you can be saved. What the hell's wrong with you? If okay, you want... Girl. Get moving. By, uh... Hmm, what... Was it again? Yeah, yes. That's it. By saving yourself. You can be saved by saving yourself. What are you talking about there, partner? I want to talk to you today about the great miracle of holy passion. Yes, passion. Passion is what drives us all. It is what drives me. It drives me to serve you, to bring you the great news. The great news that you are saved today. If only you will follow me and do as I say, so we can spend eternity together. Hey, mister. Hello, sir. Do you want to be saved? Uh, yes. Desperately. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> you are. That's really all there is to it. Just do more good things and less bad ones, and we can be together for all of eternity. There it is. We've been saved. You and me? Yes. Forever? <sighs> Great. Rejoice! For you are saved today. 
together okay, we girl. shall light up paradise with a holy light yes a great light that shines from within about the great i've been saved he saved me See, old Brian would have shot that man for no reason. I'm a different person. I just showed you guys that I, I, am, I've turned over a new leaf. I've been saved, okay? It's a shit. I've been saved. All right, chat. So you can't call me a savage anymore. Two dollars and twenty cents. It's starving. Freight ain't got it set all for you. Two dollars and twenty Come cents. I'm always happy to stable that horse. You know what? I should probably swap horses. I got this one max level. I got my big, big horse. Um, I think it's my black one. I wanna, I wanna get that one leveled up too. Time you fed your nag. What do you Sorry, mean? But the whole livery is full. So we got roach there. We got roach there. Oh, wait, I forgot we had that big Appaloosa. I thought I had a black horse. All right, let's make the swap. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper saddle. Maybe get a nicer saddle. That was not bad. This looks comfy. So we can go improved. Wow, that's that's fancy. Oh, Seventy-two dollars though, dude. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. That charcoal and hickory. By quality, keep it simple. You won't go wrong. So that's twelve percent on the core drain rate. Uh, eighteen percent on the core drain rate, and regen rate plus sixteen percent. Let's see improved. See, I like the black, but the problem is That's a good choice. Shit. High quality. We own it now. Um, I was gonna say the problem with the black was it, it kind of takes away some of the, the texture, but we just bought it and it was seventy two dollars, so it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So now the reason why I like this horse, this Appaloosa is way bigger. It's just a big horse. Come on, girl. Let's get some more uh, gear for our horse. Well, who do we have here? All right. Um, Sorry, but equipment. The whole full. So saddlebags. Oh, we can go upgraded saddlebags. See if we can get a darker color on those too. Yeah, see that that flow is nice. The, the upgraded saddlebags here, thirty-six bucks. It's well worth the price. That might. Yeah, see that looks nice. I like it. Some stirrups. Um, yeah, that'll go real well with the saddle. Drain rate 30%, 35%. So, I mean, these are the... Oh, okay, no, there's way better ones. Holy shit, man. 50%? You won't find anyone better with horses than me. That's a fact. These right here, the hooded stirrups, 50%. Let's That's get those. Choice. High quality. They look kind of silly, 
They're you know they're really really big, but you're talking fifty percent. That's really awesome. Oh yeah, that's a smart choice for your saddle. Redemption Sidewinder. No, that that's that's nice. It doesn't really go with the black, but it was nice. Let's go with this the Diablo horn. And the eagle is pretty cool too. Where we get that one? You know, I, I've lived here my whole life. Seen this place go through hell and back, and I wouldn't change a thing. Blankets. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Diablo blanket. Can't really tell the difference between all these blankets. I like the pattern. Oh, this this one has a that's a nice pattern right there. I've read, handled, cared for, and trained more I, I, I thought it was black in the state. But it's it has the uh, Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I'll get this one then. Alright. Damn it. It works. It works. Then bed rolls. See if we can. That's the same one I use too. Got the padded bed wool bed roll. Let's change the color. But they don't have a darker. Well, this one's a darker brown. Kind of will complement the uh, blanket a little bit. Appreciate it. See what I'm saying? It kind of compliments. You need a break from that horse. They're always welcome back. Oh, our horses. We just pimped our ride, dude. Yeah. Wow, this horse is smooth, man. <laughs> Got to get it uh, leveled up a bit. Yeah, you're okay, girl. Okay, so where are we headed? Where are we heading? Um, got the photographer up there. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll head over. Uh, we'll head over to the photographer. This guy always has some interesting stuff. And then we'll go from there. Whoa. Yep. Southeast of Rig Station for a Badger? Or is it Rig Station right here? You say it's southeast, like this location? We're about to roll right past Rigs. Rig station right here, I believe. Now the badgers, we gotta we gotta scope them out. I don't know what. Uh, pretty sure they're considered like small game.
I don't know what kind of noise badger badgers make, so I don't know what the hell I'm looking for. Yeah, we're hunting. For, we've been hunting for satchels, Maxi. Yeah, we already last episode we we tried. We put a lot of time. We got all our perfect deer pelts. We got a uh, elk pelt. Uh, we ended up getting our snake. But we are in the market for a cougar and a badger, also. Some sheep down there. I could use some, uh... I haven't really used any of the baits, you know what I mean? I wonder if drop... Yeah, I wonder if we drop some meat on the ground if that would attract a badger. Do you think so? I just don't know the realism levels of the game, you know what I mean? The game just... There's so many things in this game that you can, like, do. Like, unspoken stuff. Yeah, there's some water down here. A little bit of a lake down this way. We'll just go to the end of the road here. It's a rabbit. As good a spot as any. I got good sight lines, so we'll try to set up our bait here. I don't even know what the fuck a badger looks like. Like, I'm gonna be straight up. Like, I don't... So I got, that's some scent cover. I got herbivore bait, but are they herbivores? I mean, the, the, the name badger sounds, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like they're, do they, they eat meat, right? So I know what a wolverine looks like. Oh, they kind of look like a, like a, like a wolverine. I don't know, I think of like possums or, uh, you know, things like that. Or uh, what are the ones that fight the snakes? It's not a possum that fights a snake. What the hell is the ones that fight snakes? Mongoose. Yeah, you know, yeah, I think of like a mongoose like type of thing. All right, so we're gonna we'll go ahead and we'll drop some meat on the ground. Let's see if this works. Uh, I don't think I have any raw meat though. Salted venison, peach, celery. Yeah, so I don't have any raw meat. So we'll just drop uh, drop some of this cooked meat on the ground and see if that helps. Uh, discard. I don't know if that dropped it though. I think that just discarded it. Yeah. 
hell is that noise? Swanee donated five dollars. Approximately 70% of the earth is covered by water. Only 1% of this water is drinkable. Therefore, 69 is dirty. <laughs> Swanee, brother, thank you so much. <laughs> that was a good one. Yo, that's like a real boat, man. Duck. A lot of duck. Holy shit, look at all the duck. Rodent. What is that? American muskrat. Not what we're looking for. Shit, is that a fucking eagle, dude? So much wildlife over here. There's so many noises. Like, I'm hearing birds. I'm hearing everything. It's... You want me to shoot the eagle? Savage. So what does a badger sound like? Can somebody in chat, like, make the sound so I can, uh... <laughs> can somebody make the sound? Let's set up a camp. Let's set up a camp for the night. And yeah, I, my problem is I don't have any bait. Uh, we're gonna have to get some predator predator bait. Um, that'll probably help out for sure. But I want to see if I can craft some poison arrows. I I don't know if I have any um feathers left. Cause I've been I was using a crap. Yeah, I don't even have any feathers. Alright, so let's sleep till the morning. Look for him at night? Oh shit, well, it's, damn, it's too late. I just freaking. Wait, so you should hunt for badgers at night? Are they. Are they Oh, they're nocturnal? Why did you guys tell me they were nocturnal? I mean, but does the game actually, like, register that realism? Like, you know, like, nocturnal animals and shit? There's a black squirrel. We need that perfect squirrel pelt, don't we? Please keep the pelt clean. 
That was a headshot. I th I'm pretty sure that was a headshot. Please keep the pelt clean. Damn it. Well, if they're nocturnal, then we're at the setup camp again. Yeah, I need to get more arrows, though, if we're going to do the... Shit, I could probably kill a bunch of those duck, can I? Get some feathers? Of course, the duck aren't here because they heard me. Blew off. There's like freaking 70 ducks down there. It's a couple over there, but nothing like there was. We'll wait till the evening. We'll see if the ducks land again in the evening. Yeah, so we'll wait to the evening. See if the ducks come back. Because now I'm worried. And now I feel like I got to hunt the badger with the small game arrows, too. See if any of these ducks come in the land again for the evening. No. There's a couple of them on the water there, but I was hoping for the big, big payout. Well, we got to get a couple so we can go ahead and make a couple of uh, small game arrows. Muskrat. The Chronic 80 stream is going great, man. I'm glad you're enjoying this, the, the content, though, man. We're, uh, we're trying to get some, uh, some feathers at the moment, so we're going to be shooting some birds. Want a dead or alive? Why am I wanted dead or alive? Oh, I crossed into the uh got it. I was like, yo, it's a, it's that illegal to shoot birds, man? 
Nope, that was the one I already skinned. Shit. We got a couple over here. Some more feathers. Yeah, we need the flight feathers for the arrows. So that's why I'm hunting so many birds. Damn it. I meant to hit skinned. Now, I think to make the uh, the predator bait, I need berries, which I don't know where to get, and I think fish meat, and that's how you can make the predator bait. Now well, it's nighttime, and I hear a bunch of different critters. Manuel, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Red fox, yeah, that's a perfect fox. Do we need a perfect fox pelt for anything? Is that not a back of the head shot? So environment rifle is not strong enough to take down a, a fox? I don't even have a... I don't have a repeater on me right now, and I don't want to, I, I, I honestly don't want to shoot because I don't want to scare away a badger. There's one in the area. I take that gunshot, and all the animals in the area are going to scurry off, so.
bad shoes are deaf. There's a fox. It's American Gray Fox. Now, is this supposed to be a really good spot for badgers? I know I've seen somebody in the chat also say, um, where was it? Uh, the Heartlands, wherever that is. Is that the big open area where, where we were seeing all the, the buffalo and shit? Yeah, like here. A lot of wide open terrain there. But I feel like if I do go ahead and get myself... Uh, some predator meat or the the predator bait i feel like i'll be better off hunting these that same gray fox There's a muskrat over there make, making that squeaky sound. Well, yeah, we're right by Rig Station right now. A little southwest of it, or southeast of Rig Station currently. Oh, really, really, oh, actually really close to Rig Station. Oh, so more like up here. It's a raccoon. Coyotes. Are they just shitting, dude?
I'm here with the four months, brother. What's going on? Any plans to play? The yeah. Batman tell yo, I actually wanted to play a couple of the Telltale games, Javier. Yes, indeed. Um, we The only ones I've ever played was The Walking Dead. And uh, some of you guys are telling me that the wolf... Of what is that? Is that a badger? It's a fucking possum, dude. I got so excited. What the fuck was that? More coyotes. But yeah, I think it was the Wolf Among Us you guys said were really cool, and uh, the Batman said, uh, games you guys said were pretty cool. That was a possum. Okay, now I'm hearing, ty I'm hearing all types of shit now. You hear these fucking animals, dude? I don't. I wouldn't be messing with. It. it sounds like somebody's get. Like I wouldn't go near that sound if I heard it. I'm just saying. Like if I was in the. Jesus Christ, dude. Scared the shit out of me. RDR Arthur, bro, I just found you out. My girlfriend is a dude. Like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Arthur. Okay, so Riggs is here. You guys are saying to check in like this area over here? Oh, what is that? Coyote. Man, these coyotes are ruining everything, I feel. John, what's going on, brother? How you doing today? that sound that sounded like something that could have been a badger that's a three star possum right there Diamondback Rattlesnake. American Red Fox. Get the hell out of my sight. Beans you, too. First night badger hunting. Not much success. No, no. I, see, I would have shot that, that guy. But then I would have been judged by chat. And... 
There, oh my god, there's a badger. There's a fucking badger right there, dude. There's, you know, it's a three-star badger. It's a three-star badger. Fuck is its head, dude? Got it. Got that son of a bitch. Got that son of a bitch. That was a headshot. Clean. 22 cal. It should still be a perfect badger pelt. There it is. Damn. Awesome. Got our perfect badger pelt. Great woman I was about to give up. Great woman I was about to give up. Yeah, it was literally at the station, guys. Like, we're here at Rig Station. Yeah, you guys weren't lying. But we got our perfect badger pelt. Now we need a perfect cougar pelt. So when we're out and about, we'll be looking for one of those, too. But let's get back to, uh, let's go meet up with this photographer. Yeah. Uh, I think I needed a cougar. Yeah, I need a cougar, a perfect cougar pelt for the satchel. Um... I still should have got a fucking elk when we're in strawberry. We'll get one later on. Uh, yeah, we need an elk or a elk and a uh, panther. Was it a panther or a cougar? I don't remember if it was a panther or a cougar. But it was for one of the satchels. Might have been a panther. Oh, shit. There's another gold guy. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to kill this one. Promise. Guys, mm, I had Amos play Red Dead on Xbox. You, I play on. Uh, I'm on PC right now. But thank you so much, Brian, for the super chat. I appreciate it. Now, I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to rob his gold. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Shit. There ain't nothing. God damn line. Pile of dirty line waiting. I don't think he's going to look. He, he seems pretty frustrated.
back at it. Something. Hey, you, Jasper, thanks so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. And over 400 likes. Seriously, thank you guys. You got a problem. Bro, I am fishing, dude. Yep. Yep. Come on. Got a nice Good to chop. meet you. Five pound eight. Uh, five pounds eight ounce steelhead trout. Yeah, you can stay. See if he gets back to pan from gold. I don't think he's he is, he is guys. He might be over it for the day. Hey Nelly, thank you for hanging out tonight. Get that good sleep. And I'm gonna try to feel better for sure. Did he see me? Now, huh? See if maybe he already had something on him. Can you pan for gold like myself? God damn it. Good God. This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> Small jewelry bag. Nice. For the love of God. See, I'll cut you free, partner, but the problem is you're going to shoot at me, aren't you? Shit, we got somebody coming. Well, been a pleasure. Covering his mug. Yo, he sped off. I'm trying to see if anybody. Yeah, that's the only reason why I took off. I didn't want to get caught near him with him tied up. I felt like that would have been bad.
But I, I didn't want to leave him like that. You know, he didn't deserve it. I'll cut him free. Just don't do anything stupid, partner. Yeah, he didn't have no gold. Yeah, so you guys want to see the map? Yeah, so this is what I've explored so far. We've actually been all, quite all over the place. Just traveling around. Yeah, that's everywhere I've been so far. Nah, I'm going to set him free up. Okay. Well, shit. Oh, this ain't happening. Hey, there it is. Let's go, girl. There it is. Yeah. Lady X, I'm definitely exploring it all for sure. See, I didn't even have to kill him. I feel I felt really, really good there. You know, we did a proper robbery. Nobody had to die. Uh, we went in. We just took care of business. Ooh, there is a legendary fish here. What do you guys think? Should go try to catch that legendary fish really quick. And uh, we can sell it at... I believe we can send it in the... Po Do we send it in the post? I think he said we bring it to the post. If I can catch it. Um. Yeah, it was a proper robbery right there, you know? Clean, no more... No, no death. Yeah, take my mask off. This will be our first legendary fish of the of the of the game. Have I found the train wreck? Uh, no, I don't believe I have. We found a train track being built, but that was about it. Should be in this area somewhere. I believe this is a spot on the map. Yep. I think this is a legendary trout. So I got the leg I got I bought the special river lure. And I think that's what we need for legendary fish, right? Alright, let's give it a couple casts. Come on. Gotcha. Got one. There it is. There. Oh, that that's a monster right there. That's a monster. Maybe not. Coming in quite easy. Hit a real big hit, initial hit. Gotcha. Oh, what is that? Well, I damn well got you. Nice. Legendary chain pickerel on the first cast. I, I figured it'd be a little more. Um... Afraid you're staying with me. Legendary. Almost ten pounds. First cast. It was a monster. The initial hit, like. Boom, hit that lure. I was like, yo, this is something special. And then, uh, yeah, as you guys seen, we'll just head over to the post. We'll post it right here in our rigs really quick. Yeah, yeah pickles are pretty small. The ones we were catching were looking like little minnows. So for that one to be that big, I guess, yeah, it was, uh, it was a legendary. Yeah. 
Yeah, I explored the burnt town. Went to the sheriff's office. We found uh, a gold bar there. Yeah, that that did go pretty quick, Bad Wolf. I expected I expected at least a handful of casts before we nabbed the legendary first freaking cast. Send mail. What you got for me to send? There it is. And now we should receive uh, our reward within Thank 24 you. hours. Really? Yeah. Wonder how much he's gonna pay for that. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna head over. Uh, you know what? We're at rigs right now. Yeah, I'm, I, I would, I was, because I was going to fast travel. I was just like, oh, I'll take the train over to Rhodes and then ride up. But the problem is, is I, I feel like you miss some of the events and shit when you fast travel. So we'll just, we'll ride this one out. Like, we've experienced so much content just on the roads, you know what I mean? Just going from point A to point B, it's it's beyond amazing. Sometimes, no, you know, it's just a ride, but... You, you, I feel like you miss a lot if you fast travel. Always those people camping out. Man, you go near their camps, they pull guns on you instantly. Yeah, Caspi hates when I fast travel too. Yeah. Fat and Arthur Hub. I feel like my Arthur's in good shape. Granted, we haven't eaten in a while. And our, our energy's actually getting pretty low. So let's go ahead and pop. We have coffee somewhere. I've been eating good. Uh, usually I, I do a lot of hunting, so I eat the venison and stuff. That shit just, it tops your cores off so good. Oh, what is this? Easy, easy. Oh, it's a horse. What the hell happened? Twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? 
Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, God. Come on now. Giddy up. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? I could do that. It's kind of out of the way. Yeah, it's not too out of my way. I could do that. Sure. Yeah. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that oh, horse, check, you know. Check the horse. I raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to Think hear you that. Think you might have got twisted around. Hey, we can't walk your horse back. Come on. Nothing Let's good. go, girl. Yep. Anyways, right. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. She's talking bad on her husband right now. Smart, <coughs> You pick people up on the road, they, 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 they dump all no their guns, dirty secrets out. No one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once? I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh yeah? Yeah. Had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was yep. looking for some help yep. with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. Oh, we're getting close now. Oh, what are we talking about, lady? We'll see her in the window sometimes. Some kind of uh, illegal operation going on in Emerald Ranch <laughs> that we got to uncover. Salt to the. What if they talk about that house there? Hardly going nowhere at this speed. Relax, lady. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. To that house right there. And my horse shit. Sell to the fence here. Got some goodies. Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? All right. Uh, valuables. Oh, I had a. 
Oh yeah, I forgot that gold. I got that gold ingot from uh, the um, who was that guy that we robbed or saved? The Dutch guy and his family. Then those are items. Hmm. Been a while since you were through here. Go on. Have what what a shame is sell. Uh, so we could buy dynamite from him. Let's actually Do not leave it near the campfire. Pop off our dynamite. Machete. Oh, so these are like. Oh, how do we get those weapons? I got I got the knife. I didn't know that there was other melee weapons. What you see is all there is. We could buy predator bait from him too. Yep. Buy a couple bags of that. All right. Girl. Not a word to Wagner, nor no one else. All right. Yeah, I'm not getting sidetracked, guys. Not getting sidetracked. We're, we're uh, the game is doing it on purpose. I think I've been trying. To, how long has it been since I've been trying to go link up with this? Uh, Easy, girl. Photographer. <laughs> I got her home. Uh, I, I, we'll, we'll have to check out that Emerald Ranch thing another time. It's nowhere near night right now, and I want to get over here and meet up with this. This photographer. Down in Gator Country again. You can see him down there on the edge of the water. Last episode we had a we had a pretty close run in with a gator. Uh, we were we were hunting for snakes in the water. I went to go recover the carcass of the snake, and uh, yeah, we got a nice little gator surprise. I handled it pretty manly, though, you know. Uh, you need to be able to craft jewelry to make the trinkets. Oh, I didn't even know there was trinkets. Yeah. I didn't scream like a little girl. All right, well, yeah, I'll save the jewels then. I didn't know that there was trinkets. Do I gotta unlock those, or could I could I start crafting them now? So I didn't even see the option for trinkets. So I also wasn't looking. I just seen buy and sell. Bullshit! I didn't. I didn't make no noise. Where? Hold on. Now I feel like I gotta. I gotta defend my honor here. I. I. Hold. Hold on. Hold on a second. Where'd it go? All right. Just so I can prove to chat 
Th this is what happened. All right. I, I killed the snake. I was going in the water to hunt the body. Where'd it go? Hold on. I gotta, I gotta move my camera so you guys can see. I'm blocking. I'm blocking myself. There we go. Here we go. Where'd it go? Oh, bitch. See, I didn't. Uh, what the fuck was that noise? I didn't. Oh, fucking bitch. 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 What do you mean? Don't skip on the volume. Oh, fucking bitch. Oh, fucking bitch. Manly. I handled it. I handled it. Manly. <laughs> I don't remember. See, in my head, it went down a little differently than that. Like, when I watch it back, you know. But I didn't make no scream sounds. All right, here we go. There is some good fishing down here. I can I can just tell. We're going to we're going to have to spend the day down here one day just getting some of the good fish. Come on, dude. Don't be doing anything stupid with gators, bro. Why do I feel like he wants to do something stupid with alligators? They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's yeah, why are we so dirty? Don't we just take a bath? You in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. Hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out? And I'll protect you. Come on. Get in the boat. He'll be fine. Arthur's getting so much more really enthusiastic about this photographer. He, he, he actually likes this. Bank. You're going to wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. The 10 percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. <laughs> All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest there. That, that's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Be nice to take one of these boats out on this water here and go fishing. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Well, the gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belt. Oh, look. Oh, that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Oh, shit. Alligator. It's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. Oh, this one's right over there. We caught him in the middle of his dinner. This is history making, truly. Nature in all its glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Are you sure we should stop here? Don't. Okay. 
So, um, now it's southwest or due west. 17 feet. Came right feet, out the water. 21 feet Ooh. with a five foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20 foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12 foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big ones. Stop too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just just there, please. So so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you could you run in there and coax him out? What? Coax him? Please. He's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might it might just save him from the taxidermist. <sighs> Fine. But maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh. What is a little deeper than I wanted it to be? Go, then. Get him and uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. And I don't like this, not one bit. Keep going through the palm. Oh, disappeared toward the back of the island. You'll be fine. Just don't step on it. Come on, you. Oh, he's awake. I hope you're slow. No, 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 no. Oh, man. What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me. I don't Get know what I do without you, sir. I really don't. Those fuckers are fast, dude. <laughs> Head southeast, good man. We have a final spot to check. I didn't expect the gator to be that fast. You know, they got little legs, dude. Like, <laughs> these little legs. And he was, yo, know, it was like, he was a track star. There, in the channel. You see its head? Right, right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. Poking up there. Line us up to it. Swing us around so we're pointing at him. Now, rotate. Rotate. Close. Pivot. Down. Close. Pivot. Excellent. Beast in repose. All is calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. The yeah, Caspi doesn't feel good. That's why oh, he's yes. not here today, guys. Doctor here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They gonna be any good? Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. 
Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. I hope that dude doesn't get killed. And if he does, I hope it's epic. Make sure he doesn't get attacked by a gator or anything. Oh, the skater's right there. is super dirty. Really? You had to take a shit, dude? I could hear it plopping on the ground. Alright, yes, yeah, so we got that taken care of. Uh, we got that mission there. We got Dutch mission here. So I think for the night, we'll do one more mission. What do you guys think? Do one more main mission, we'll call it good. Um, do the Dutch one. We'll do the Dutch one. We'll save this GR whatever for, for next episode. Howdy, partner. Evening, partner. Look out! Hey there, mister. Oh, man. Sun is setting. Okay, then. The Witcher's graphics aren't better than this. Not even close, dude. The Witcher's graphics were only good for me because I used a mod. Gotta remember, this game is also a lot newer than The Witcher 2. Hey! Over here! Over here! Fallout 3 has the. <laughs> you ain't lying, dude. Oh. Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gonna. Please. Oh. oh, thank God. Oh, what I have waited. To... What the hell? What? What 
Wasn't he supposed to tell me some? Hey, partner. Yeah. Hey. I didn't have a gun or anything on him. He just took off. Yeah. Another late night. So foggy out, dude. I'm just saying, I would not be comfortable rolling through this area. How was that? Like, legitimately, sounds like we're in the goddamn Jurassic Park. Demon Bat, get that good sleep, all right? Who is Bloody Mary? Is that like a... Is that, isn't that like a horror story or something like that? Oh, is there another... That's another fence? Right there in Rhodes? I think that's a fence. Uh, pretty sure Rhodes has a hotel we could stay in, right? No, it actually doesn't. Not from what it looks like. Oh, hold on. We also got something at the post. I saved him. Yeah, I saved him, Harrison. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have anywhere to sleep here. Let's see how much we got for that fish we mailed out. Sir, welcome back. Uh, hey, you sent me a lake lure that that was my reward. Thanks, partner. Well, there it is. Yep. That's the word in town. I was expecting like 75 bucks or so, 50 bucks. They got a saloon here down the road, I believe, right? Yeah, it's over here. Oh, oh, hey, hey, Brandon, remember me? Uh, yeah. Hey, that's the guy. Yeah. Hey, that's him. What? Oh, is that Don't the? Don't be shy. Hey. Look at this. This so, here's the feller. The one that found me. saying that, yeah. This feller? You let him suck on oh. your legs? <laughs> 
I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, let, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> In a single okay. fit. Appreciate it. Having conquered evil the way I have, it's the least a humble man. Ooh, can I buy like an expensive outfit? Yeah, yeah, guy well, with the snake bite says I can put something here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his owe, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. Yeah, I'm gonna buy an outfit. Uh, like, an expensive outfit. Uh... Let's see. Trying to make it through another day. That's just how it is. We can get the gambler on him. I think it's a hundred and twenty three dollar outfit. Yeah, I think we'll just get the gambler on him. Oh, why won't it let me buy it? Damn, I can't even buy it, dude. Yeah. Maybe get some new boots. Seems like there's new outlaws showing up here every day now. What in the hell is the matter with this place? Get some new spurs too. These aren't none of these are expensive, you know. I really wanted to take advantage of the fact that yeah, I'll just probably just get a different outfit. Nothing else here is really worth it. You know what I mean? I I, I would buy everything else myself. We'll just get him to buy us uh, another outfit. Probably go with uh, this one. Yeah, yeah, we'll get that one. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. I don't mind this outfit, we just gotta change the hat though. That looks like a freaking sun hat. I haven't been to the road saloon yet. It's a nice spot though. Look at all the flowers and stuff. It's a, it's a lot more classy than uh, Valentine, it seems. A lot more up class. You know, middle of the night. This looks like somewhere nice to come drink. I'm just saying. This place is fancy, dude. Hey, y'all. Motley bunch of fellas around here. Mm-hmm. Thank you. What the fuck? 
Okay. Why is everybody staring at me? Bartender, I showed up and just walked away. Cards here? Poker? Ooh! 18. No card. Blackjack? Sit down. Game get blackjack. Yep, that's the word in town. Anyway. Bets, please. Ah, oh, shit. I'll bet. That's it for bets. Should have bet more. Okay. Ah. 17. Uh, 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 should we stay? Yeah, we'll stay. 19. Okay, 16. Card, please. Yeah, he's going to hit on 16. Oh, working out this time. Well, that's too bad. Great, man. Yeah, we're going to bet way more. 14 here. Did hit? 20. Oh. I always Damn. feel like dealers be cheating and right. fucking blackjack, man. That's it. All right, so we're going to bet. We'll go 30 cents. You know what? Screw it. We'll go 50 cents. We play We play for keeps, all right? Feeling extra fortunate, are you? Okay, I've got your bets. Let's got go. got an ace. <sighs> so I'm going to hit on this, obviously. And 15. Uh, yeah. Yep, me. 15. Bucket. Give me your card. That's Bucket. that. God damn it. Yeah, he just took my money like it was nothing, dude. 12. Give me another one. Went Not past. this time. 14. Hit me. 18, all right. Woo, 17. Better chance next time. Come on, turn it around. Let's see your bets. Well, uh, you know, I keep thinking I found a decent girl. But as soon as you lay to bed, ask for a coin. Hmm. Uh, all bets are in. King. Uh-oh, that's Bet 13. 13. Hit. I'll take a card. Hello there. 17. Oh, all right. Woo, 17. We're at 12. And six. Come on, dude. 16. Uh, okay, God. then. 19. Fucking cheater, dude. You got him. Bullshit. <laughs> Ain't that right. Bets, please. I'm gonna have to shoot everybody. In I mean, we're going a straight dollar on this game. No more bets this round. And 15. Hey, Big Daddy. Card, please. And bust. I fucking kill you. Get an eye. Double down. 14 here. Mm, 13. 13. Mm -hmm. One off. 20. For Christ's sakes. <laughs> He's yes, trolling, bro. That's it. Dollar ninety eight, all in, baby. That's it for bets. Seven. Oh, I'm sitting on a thirteen. That's so bad, dude. Of course he's got. Oh my god, I hate this game. Thirteen. Yep, card. Fourteen. You kidding me, dude? Well, let's try again. Well, no, that's too bad. Oh. 
I need your commentary, huh? <laughs> Seventeen. Seven. Card, please. Woo! Seventeen. Thirteen. That's that. <laughs> Unlucky, pal. You trying to annoy me, huh? Let's see your bets. Huh. Okay, I've got your bets. Let's go. Ace. There we go. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, no. Twenty. I stand. Five. Hit me. Nine. Card, please. Woo! Seventeen. Ten. Fourteen here. Bust. Yeah. There it is, boy. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Real fun, eh? Bets, please. Now we're playing with the big boys. I'll bet three on this game. No more bets this round. Thirteen. <clears throat> Thirteen. Card. Bust. Ah. Seventeen. Nah. Okay, sixteen. Ten here. Woo, ah. Seventeen. Didn't like that one much. Let's see your bets. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Let's bet a full five. Oh, you're making a play, huh? That's it for bets. Three. Uh -huh. Yo, what the hell is up with me in 13? Hmm. Hmm. 13. Give me a card. 18. I'll stay on that. He's gonna get fucking 20. I'm gonna 18, shoot him right in his right. face. I'm gonna stand. 17. I'm okay. Lucky seven. Yep. Watch him have 20. Hit. 14. Hit. 15. Yep. Hit. 19. 12. Oh. <clears throat> 13. Mm. And ah. yes. There we go. <laughs> Big money, baby. Big money. Bet's in. Let's bet a, let's bet a full ten. Oh, let's bet a five again. Yep. So the max bet is uh, five. All bets are in. Oh, there it is. Twenty, baby. Do we or, have 19. any insurance bets? Um. Shall sure, place insurance. Okay, so I lost my insurance. He doesn't have blackjack. Okay, then. 19. Ah, uh, shall stay. Just lost 250. We're at 12. I'm a split. Got four. Hit me. 14 here. Another one. Hmm. That's that. Two of them got caught rutting behind the mill. 19. I'll stand. Uh, okay uh, then, 19. Yes, come on. Let's see whose luck is in. I am more thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Still not morning yet. We're just waiting for the morning, guys. We're gonna Let's go link up with Dutch. No more bets this round. Okay, 10. Mm. Take that Damn. all day. I caught some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. Went straight to the wall. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sure 16. Mm. I'll take Fuck a it. Card. We'll go for it. Bust. <laughs> Damn. Jesse, well, thank you okay, for the sub. I appreciate 16. it. Woo, 
17. Five fingers. Hit. 16. 14. 19. Come on. Need something here. I wonder if ca yes, card count would work on Red Dead. That'd be funny if you if you could count cards. Bets, please. All right, let's bet the rest All of what right. we have. Okay, I've got your bets. Let's go. Hmm. <clears throat> Thirteen. Card, please. Okay, 16. 16 is... I believe the gunsmith's got held up again. Poor Mr. Feeney's down to his last cent. Oh, shit. You heard that, guys? I robbed that. I dropped him. <laughs> What's it going to be? Again. Went oh. past. Ran a chance next time. Excuse me? Shut up. <laughs> 14 here. Hit me. <laughs> Six. Sun's starting to come this up. This was horrible. Sun's coming up. It didn't trigger the... Uh, well, bye, Ammo. I do appreciate this sub, brother. Thank you so much. Hello, mister. We're okay. Hey, I would shoot. I would have. I would have shot them for stealing my money, but Dutch specifically said no, no, no causing trouble. So I, I got to keep it. We got to keep it clean. You know, it was some nighttime activity to pass the day or the night while we were waiting for the sun to come up. So we go link up with Dutch. That's hanging out in the sheriff's office? Like, what the hell? Okay. Yo, is that... I thought there was somebody hanging. It's a statue, I think. Of course, of course. Oh! And here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. So we're deputies now? Archibald. Ah. 
How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? <laughs> you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Let me grab an extra weapon. I don't know what the hell we're gonna be getting ourselves into here. I mean, that don't look good. Yeah. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once. Oh shit. No. What the hell happened this here? This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. He took a bullet to the face. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. But any identification? Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. 
But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Let's grab some guns here. Don't know what we're getting ourselves into. So we'll grab our... Um, I'll grab the Lancaster Repeater and my uh, semi-auto shoddy. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? I will take left. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. Adam. Good work, gentlemen. That goes dude's head to bleed, and you see it? We hit him with the bottle. That's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, 
So you make it real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> that. That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... Alright, this is actually getting a little hungry. Let's uh eat really quick. I just didn't light it. Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. Dude, I'm trying to loot, brother. Didn't expect to run into this gang here. Like, we, we blew up the, the moonshine, and then next thing you know, we came over here, and there was a whole group of Lemoyne Raiders. Wonder if I was supposed to stealth this part, and I messed it up by blowing up that dynamite too early or something.
Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We it. have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea! I'm sure he can fi find a use for it! Bit of trouble back there? Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Well, you're lucky I don't got my fast horse. Okay. You're Jason, up. thank you for the That's sub, brother. The I appreciate it. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. Yeah. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Oh, it says monster stamina. That's how you gonna talk shit from way back there, bro. I don't even have to pop a horse stem. My horse's stamina is just that insane. so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. 
But you're more than that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys. So we will end it here for tonight. Uh, got some good stuff, and I had a great time today. I feel like we made some good groundwork. Uh, some, oh, we got a fishing mission right there. So you know we're gonna start the uh, we're gonna start the game off with that next episode. But yeah, I do appreciate everybody coming and hanging out today. I hope you guys had fun. I definitely did. Uh, if you haven't on your way out, hey, thank you so much for over four hundred likes. It really, really means the world to me. If you have it on your way out, I smash that like button. If you guys are enjoying the content, I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really, really means a lot, and it really helps out. But other than that, you guys get that good sleep, and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.